Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here. I'm X Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. And today I'm going to show you how to design an ebook cover. So here I have an image. This is the image I have on the internet. It's actually a poster I made for another 10 minute uh, tutorial. Um, and here is the ebook cover I want to place on. So I have the cover and I've got the spine and I've got a, divide, a guide that divides the two there. So the first thing I want to do is paste my materials on. So I'm going to I'm going to grab just the cover, hit Command and Control C to copy, paste it on, and we're going to create two layers of that. One for the cover, one for the reflection of the cover. We're going to grab spine, same process, bring it on, and two. Okay, so now make all three, make the little, all the layers invisible except for one of the cover. And that's the first one we're going to work with. Okay, so hit Command and Control T, or you can come up here to Edit, Transform. Free, uh, edit free transform and that activates the transform tool you can see we got lines on either side so first thing we're going to do is we're going to scale it down and then we're going to still in the transform don't uh, double click because if you double click you will activate you will um, activate the transform and the changes will be applied and we're not done yet so right click and go to distort and what distort allows you to do is to grab the corner points and drag them to fit our ebook cover. So it's a very powerful tool because you can pretty much do this to anything. You can have a you know a poster on a wall, um, a picture frame. You can replace pictures in there and stuff like that. So that works good. But watch, we have a um, kind of a, a curve here. So we need to try, we need to warp it even more. So right click and go to warp. And warp here activates these little grids, which is really cool. So what we can do is we can grab the grids and drag it to fit the image. And you got little handles here that you can pull as well. Do the same at the bottom. So you could have an image that was really, really warped and you can still apply your image using this technique. Okay, and you just want to make sure that it doesn't uh, warp it too much. You wouldn't want to do something like this, obviously. So that's looking pretty good. So now we're happy with the, uh, the transform. Now we can double click out and we're good. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with, this, with the, um, the spine. So activate one of your spine layers, Command and Control T to activate the transform, scale it down to start off with. Okay, now the only thing I would do extra here is I would, because it's a spine, it should slightly be, it'd be a little darker, come up here to um, Image Adjustment Curves, and we're just going to drag this down. So it makes the, makes the spine slightly darker, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so our ebook cover is there. We just need now. We just need a reflection. And what we're going to do is grab that second layer of the cover, transform. So we're always using the transform tool. We're going to flip vertical, so it's upside down now. Hit our distort again. Grab both those points. Now. The hard part here is, unfortunately, when you grab an image from the internet, you don't have the full reflection. So you, you kind of have to do some guesswork as for the angle of the reflection. Looks okay. All right, I like that. Now I'm going to merge the two um, reflected layers. So I'm going to grab my this one here, this one here, hit Command and Control E to merge. Okay, now what I want to do is add a mask, grab my gradient tool, make sure I got a black to white gradient, and simply add a nice faded gradient like that. Now the problem is that our, our original gradient is, is showing through. So what I need to do is grab my original image of my ebook, and I want to delete that reflection because I don't want to see it. So simply quick selection of the reflection and just hit delete, delete that out of there, get our reflection back. All right, got our reflection. The last thing we could do is that little blue in the back, grab another element here. It's a lot of transforming going on. That's pretty much what we're doing. Um, put it there, put it there. Here, I mean, it's, I really don't, it's not a big deal where it shows up. Hit OK. Make it invisible for the moment. I'm just going to 
get my selection make a selection of that little back cover okay and then reactivate this layer okay so we got our back cover activated it does take a bit of work but it's fairly straightforward for creating a good an easy to use ebook cover now now an alternative to this is to go to 10minutephotoshop.com and check out our e-cover pack our e-cover action script pack because i've done all the work for you so what you could do instead of doing this, this whole tutorial process is simply take your cover bring it into one of my templates simply line it up grab the one of grab one of the action covers hit play and look at that in about five seconds i designed the whole e-cover for you no problems just like that okay um, and we have lots to choose from. You've got ebook covers, you got DVD covers, Blu-ray covers, CD covers, software boxes, spiral notebooks, all sorts of cool stuff and a lot more tutorials. So check that out. Um, and that's it for today. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Rob Baldwin, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. Have a nice day.